AWS has just released new GPU accelerated instances and this instance family is EC2 G6 instances as you can see on your screen. This is a big release in my opinion, especially when there is a crunch on the available GPUs and it is very hard to find GPU for your own usage. I have been using Amazon EC2 G5 instances, G4 DN instances for some time now in order to run some of the POCs, uh, also create some of the demo which I use in my videos on this channel. But what happens sometimes is that even when I am jumping from region to region like North Virginia and others, uh, the capacity is very very low and more often than not when I try to start my G5 instances or even sometimes G4 DN instances, I get error that insufficient capacity. So that is where I believe that having one more option of G6 instances is really good because not only it has more power, more grunt, more um, GPU VRAM and I will be showing you those specs shortly. The point is that now we have more options that okay if we are trying to launch G4 DN instance there is insufficient capacity we can try out G5 or we can try out G6 and G6 is a bit cheaper too which is great and then um, it is still available in few of the regions and not all of them but hopefully it will be rolled out to other regions too as I presume Amazon or AWS is going to acquire more and more GPU instances. Now this EC2 G6 instance comes with NVIDIA L4 GPUs and every GPU has 24 GPU of VRAM and maximum you can have 8 GPUs in the spec so it means that at one time you can have 192 GPU of VRAM on a single instance and I will also be showing you the price the good thing is that if you compare it to the previous generation of G5 it is 25% cheaper as I said earlier it is only available at the, at the moment in AWS US East which is North Virginia and Ohio region and also in US West Oregon region. If we go to the specs of these instances these are the specs as you can see here. Now as I said earlier Amazon EC2 G6 instances are powered by NVIDIA's L4 tensor core GPUs and these can be used for wide range of use cases such as uh, if you are trying to do the machine learning use case, RAG, graphic intensive or run the LLMs in full even without quantization you can run them. The G6 instances offer two times better performance for deep learning inference and graphics workload compared to EC2 G4 DN instances. Now you can also use G6 instances for deploying ML models for natural language processing, language translation, video and image analysis, speech recognition and personalization as well as graphic workloads such as creating and rendering real time cinematic quality graphics and game strip. And I am very interested in this because I will be trying, uh, trying out some of the stable diffusion models on it. Also a G6 instance feature up to 8 NVIDIA L4 Tensor Core GPUs with 24 GB of memory per GPU and also it uses third generation AMD EPYC processors. Also um, as mentioned already it supports up to 192 vCPUs as you can see that that instance will be this G648X large and it has around uh, I mean total uh, GPU memory is 192 and the RAM is 768 GB. Also the network bandwidth is really good up to 100 gbps of um, network bandwidth it uses and also you can have more than 7 uh, terabyte of local nvme ssd storage now um, i would suggest if you're just trying to install some local llms and just try to use it start with this maybe g6 to xlr the reason why i'm saying is that it does have one GPU with same spec as the XLR but it has 32 GB of memory. So I have seen that with 16 GB of memory things struggle. So 32 GB is a good trade off in my opinion. You also get the same GPU but you have more memory. You have more CPUs too but I am more interested in terms of memory because 
that is one of the crucial component in terms of speed and performance and of course the price will be a bit higher now when it comes to the pricing let's um, go and check out the pricing but before that one more note you can see it increases incrementally and once you jump from x large or 2x large or 2x large to 4x large the price double so keep that in mind okay so let's go to aws calculator which you can see on your screen at the moment now let's try to make it a bit bigger better now now so what i have done is i've selected the region north virginia where it is available ec2 is the operating system let's go with linux and then I have just searched for G6 and there is your pricing. So G6 X large has on demand hourly cost of 80 cents and US dollars 2X large is 97 and then it goes price keeps going up as you move up the chain. For example, that one where we have 192 GP of VRAM, we have around just over $13 per hour. Now remember that this cost is on demand. If you are using savings plans or reserved instances in AWS, then it goes down. So for example, um, if you are using compute saving plans, then the cost will be just uh, for this one, 1.53 per month, and then it will go up and up. I mean, it all depends as how much you use. For example, on demand, you are using like this, and this is just, uh, 3.07 per month it all depends as what sort of um, okay so sorry this is for the t4 g it is for some reason it is using the t4 that is why i was saying it is so low uh, we just need to select for example from here let's see this there you go. this should be bad there you go so it is around just over uh, 700 dollars per month if you're running 24 by 7 keep that in mind and this is for on demand and if you are using savings plans where you uh, make a commitment of compute with aws that you are going to use it for three year or one year then for example if you have that commitment of three years it just uh, almost is half so just 400 dollars per month and if you go with one year then it becomes 580 so it all depends upon how much you want to uh, commit to aws and if you go with all up front, it just goes like this $13,000 for three years. Okay, so it's all up to you. So amazing, I think, um, release from AWS, really impressed by it. Um, and other than that, as I mentioned earlier, there could be a lot of uh, advantages of this. For example, G6 instances deliver up to two times higher graphics performance than G4D instances. And because they are powered by L4 GPUs that feature third generation RT cores and also support NVIDIA's RTX technology. This makes them really ideal for rendering realistic scenes faster, running powerful virtual workstations, and also supporting graphics heavy applications at higher fidelity and resolution. Also, one cool thing about this is that they are also built on AWS Nitro system which is a combination of dedicated hardware and lightweight hypervisors, which delivers practically all of the compute and memory resources of host hardware to your instance for better overall performance and security. The Nitro system prov provisions the GPUs in a pass-through mode, providing comparable to bare metal, so which is really, really good. This um, Nitro system pass-through mode, you are able to leverage all the power of NVIDIA's GPU on your uh, this virtual machine as if you are using it on bare metal so really awesome stuff by aws so can't wait to try it out let me know your thoughts in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching